everybody. I move this out of the way. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're here for the first time, welcome. Uh, my channel is never too late. Um, my name is Kim. Um, today I'm here with a thread up box, rescue box that I got. But as you can see, this is the bottom, and this is how it came. It was sitting right ways up, but when I picked it up, it all came apart and everything came tumbling out. So I didn't open it on purpose. It just kind of opened itself. So it is a scarf rescue box. Sorry, I keep, but I'm going to open it from the back end. But here's, here's what I saw and here's what it looks like. And that top layer had all fallen out. And then I'm going to put this on the floor so you can see me. And then um, after I finally got everything inside the house, my one dog, the one that wasn't trying to run out the door while I was trying to pick everything up off the ground. Um, he decided it would be fun to grab things out of the box and try to run away with them. So <laughs> this box has been an adventure and I haven't even gotten to looking at what's inside yet. But anyway, I did purchase the um, scarf DIY rescue box. It is, I can't remember how many scarves are in it, but I think it was only $16. Um, I will confirm that when I get to the bottom which is the top with the invoice but yeah um inexpensive and I thought with scarves one you can fold them up small they don't take up a lot of space two I think they'll be easy and quick to photograph and I do have a backlog right now of things I'm trying to list and um three I can think of some interesting things maybe to use scarves for in up cycling so I just kind of thought why not it was inexpensive so We'll give it a try and see what we get. I, I have no idea. I know there's a bunch of scarves and I've seen some of them, but I don't know anything about what the quality is. If there's any that are going to be, you know, really resellable for more than just a small amount. I just really don't know, but we will see. Um, before we get to it though, if you have not subscribed and you enjoy my content, please do. Um, and if you'd like to know when my videos are going to be released, you can hit that notification bell. Um, if you enjoy the video, please leave me a like. It really does help my video get seen more. And, um, as always, I love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. Was this box worth it? Are there things in here you like or don't like? Um, I probably will go back and edit before I post it and let you know if there's things that I decided to keep or if I'm listing or what. Um, that's my plan. But plans change. So if you see this video without that, I'll do a recap at some point. But I'm hoping I can. Oops, sorry. I hit the, uh, I hit the the stand. <laughs> I'll try not to do that anymore. All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna grab. Okay, so the first thing we have here looks like a scarf that is kind of a camo print, but then it has these pink um, stripes on both sides, and then the end is a little um, like frayed intentionally frayed um this is the one i think my dog yeah this is the one my dog grabbed and tried to run away with so you can see his little teeth marks in it thanks pip so um luckily i don't i don't see any markings on this so i don't see where this one was um a name brand or anything particularly special so if you had to pick one at least you didn't pick like the one in there that's actually worth something so um, so I guess I'll be keeping this one for myself or repurposing it for something else. That dog. Okay, this one is a little bit more of a, a thicker fabric, more of a... Hold on. It's nice. Like a, what do they call them? Like a Pashima? Is that what they call it? But it looks like you could wear it either with the red side a little more prominent or on the other side where there's more like of a burgundy. It's got a flower pattern. Um, and then it has an edging and fringe, fringe on the, on the sides, on the ends. Um, let's see. So a quick scan and see if I see any. Once again, I don't see any markings on here. It does look like it's a little frayed on the edges. Um, I may be able to trim it. I mean, this is a nice scarf. It's very pretty and soft. So I might go ahead and try to list this one. I'll look at it more closely and see. But I do think it's very pretty. It looks like it would be nice 
I mean, this would be really nice to wear with like your overcoat, you know, with your coat when you go out. So that's a nice one. All right. Oh, this one is pretty. Look at this one. This one almost gives me like a, a 70s feel with the pattern. It's very sheer. It's hemmed on all of the edges. Um, once again, I don't, oh, I think it's, oh, the tag, it did have a tag. So it looks like it did have a tag and someone cut it off. So we will never know. Um, but it also looks like it is a little bit like curved. So like the top is straight and then maybe this could be like a, uh, a bathing suit tie around or something like that, the way it's curved. That might be, that might be. It's pretty though. It's very pretty. Maybe I'll try to, um, maybe I'll try to list it as that. I don't know if I ever found a bathing suit. I got a bathing suit that matched it. Oh, this is too stuck together. This is a really thin one. Oh, it's very fall though. And it is stuck together. There's something on there. Okay. There's some kind of stain on there. And I have no idea if it was like that when it left thread up or if something happened since everything was falling out, but I will wash it and try to get that out. Um, but it's this really pretty leaf and acorn pattern. Very nice for fall. So it's pretty, but that one definitely needs a good um, stain treating and washing. And like I said, at this point, there's no way to know where that happened. Okay, this one is another one that's a little bit thicker. It's pink and purple. Um, this one does have a run. I'm seeing at least one run in it. Um... Once again, fringe on the edges, on the ends. And once again, I don't see anything telling me a brand or anything like that, but the colors, the colors are really pretty. So maybe I will, I don't know, maybe I'll just lot some of these together in, you know, colors that match or types. I don't know. I'll have to see what all of them are and then decide exactly what to do with them. This one is very pretty and very, oh, this is very big. This is a big very long. Look how wide it is. Let's see. It does have a tag. The tag says Valley Love, a hundred percent viscose. It looks like it was made in um, Indonesia. And then there are, there are um, instructions, but I think the writing is all in, not in English, it looks like it's in maybe in Spanish. So, um, but this, look, how, look at the, isn't that pretty? And then it's like a double, it, it's on the other side too. This one is very pretty and big. It's so big. <laughs> um, honestly, it's a very nice, very soft. I almost want to, cause it's almost like it's two panels. I almost want to say, I'm going to save this one and try to make something out of it. Cause I think with those two panels, maybe you could maybe some kind of a, I don't know, a shirt. I don't know what you could do, but it, it definitely is sparking my, my thoughts. So that's fun. All right. This is another really thin one, but very, very soft. Oh, look at that, how beautiful the colors are though. The blue and the white, it looks kind of like a like a sky with clouds. That's just beautiful. Um, once again, there are no, I don't see a tag or anything indicating what it's made out of or anything like that, but this is beautiful. I mean, so far this is the one I'm most tempted to keep for myself just because it's so pretty. It makes me think of like a, a cloudy sky, a beautiful blue sky with beautiful white clouds. I love that. I love that. All right, guys. Let's move on. Okay. This is another one where the tag has been cut off, but this is another very, very pretty. Look at the, um, it's got beautiful pattern. Isn't that pretty? really pretty. And then once again, it does have the fringe at the end, but the tag is cut off. So I don't know who made it, what the, um, you know, fabric is. It looks like I can't find it right now, but I 
saw a, a, a thread. So I think there might be a little run in here too, but I think if you snip the thread, it probably would be fine. So this is another one that I may end up putting on, um, putting up for sale. Okay, let's see. This is a big, thick, kind of warm one. It almost feels a little bit like a blanket. This really, this really seems more like a blanket than a scarf. I'm going to call this a blanket. Look how big this is. This is like a throw blanket, but it's this plaid. Um, and then it's, you know, a little bit, what do they call it? Frayed on the edges, but not really frayed. It's just how this is. Oh, there's a string I need to cut. It is a little worn in a couple of places. I'm just checking all the edges to see if there's any type of tag or anything. But yeah, I would definitely call this, I don't see a tag, but it's very soft. It's very soft. Um, so I would consider this more of a throw blanket. So, you know, I may keep this one or not. Maybe I'll list it with something else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these yet. Okay. Oh, this is another big one. I've never seen scarves this big. Look how big this is. Okay. It just keeps going, but it's this blue around the edges with kind of orange um, polka dots. And then in the middle, it is this orange and yellow kind of pattern. It's very pretty. Um, I guess it's... I don't know. It's like circles on top of each other. I'm not sure. It's hard to see. Um, once again, <laughs> I don't see any. Um, this is huge. Like, huge. Um, I do not see any um, tags or anything, any labels. So um, but this is not the It's very, very large. So I'm honestly wondering if I can make something out of it. I don't know. I kind of got this box thinking that some of the things in here might be things I use for other things. Who knows? Okay. This is very pretty, kind of a, a very, um, I want to say almost like a very classic type design. Um, so here's what it looks like. It's got these roses. And then in the middle, it has this kind of like winged horseman um this one does have a tag 100 percent silk okay now we're talking so this one is 100 percent silk i don't know who it's made by but the fact that it is 100 percent silk means that i can probably resell it so and it's really it is really beautiful and very large i'm going to try to fold it up nicely and then let's see i can show you kind of how big it is by showing you you know what it looks like a quarter of it but it's this one's very pretty and silk is good I'm glad Pippin didn't grab this one I don't see any damage so far um, but this one was a little farther down it wasn't really so much on the top um, okay let me let me fold folding I'm not the best folder okay so this is a this is what it looks like Get these edges lined up this is a quarter of it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I will definitely be listing this one. I'm gonna look it over again. The only, I don't see any itch issues with it, but it's very, you know, look, it's got these little bits at the corner too. It's, it's, it just looks like a very kind of classic design to me. And it is, a, like I said, 100% silk. So 100% silk, I think, is definitely something I can, resell i will check comps and stuff and see oh my nose is itchy okay wow this is another one that is just i think i oh there's a lot i think a lot of stuff that is on here is from garbage can over here i think it's from being on the ground but this one is also very big very very big um i think that's why you know they all fell out because they're so huge um, so much for getting them because they were small and didn't take up a lot of space. This one, I swear, could also be a blanket. Look how it's very wide, but it's kind of a green and black and white plaid. Um, it's also very long. Um, I do not see any branding. This one has a lot of, this one honestly looks like it's had its share of use. So honestly, what I might do with this one is just throw it in the washing machine 
and then um, give it to my dogs to sleep on because my dog, especially Gimli, Gimli, I've never seen a dog love blankets the way he loves blankets. So if you, anytime you put a blanket down anywhere, he immediately gets up from whatever he is where, I mean, he will wake up out of a dead sleep and come and lay on the blanket. <laughs> so worst comes to worst, it'll just be a Gimli blanket and he'll be happy. Oh, this looks like a, a shawl. This looks like a shawl because it has armholes. So it has a hole here. And then I'm trying to get this sorted. And then a hole on the other end. So this looks like so, like a shawl. Like you would put it on and then, you know, put your hand arm through. I don't have it right. But you would put your arm through and then it would keep you warm, I guess. Maybe. It doesn't seem like it would be big enough to put anything but your arm through. Um, and then it has the fringe on the end. It's a plaid again. And kind of thick. It feels like it would be fairly warm. Um, gosh, so much static. <laughs> I don't, once again, I'm looking through and I'm not seeing any tags, but it's interesting with the, with the armholes. I'll have to see if I can find anything online kind of showing me anything more about it, but it's different. So maybe I will list that one as well. Okay. We're getting halfway through now, I guess. Okay. This is interesting. This really feels like it's wool, but I don't know. It's so hard when things don't have tags because you just have no idea. But look at that. I don't know what it's made out of, but it is super soft. But it obviously is something that has all these fibers. Um, and I think scarves are definitely one of those things that people do cut the tags out of. I have no idea. I'm looking. I don't see a tag, but it is a really pretty pattern. And it just kind of, I think it repeats after a while. The colors are kind of interesting. The colors are very pretty. And it's like, even you can see like the fibers on it are pulling up. I wonder if it's, I don't know, alpaca maybe or something like that. It is so soft. It's a shame that this does not have any type of tag on it. I don't know. I'll have to research that one a little bit more and see what I can find out. Okay. This one is a little, a little flashy. It's a little metallic. Um, it is once again all the way around. There's definitely <laughs> there's some fibers from the other one on there. That's the first I thought it was hair, but then I realized it's just the other one is shedding. It's got gold. And, no, is that all gold? Or gold? I think it's gold and silver. I think it's got gold. Yeah, it's gold and silver. It's a little fringed around. Um, once again, it's very long and pretty wide. Um, not seeing any label. So, so far, I'm guessing that most of these are in the box because they have no labels. Um, I gotta say, I like metallics, but I'm not loving this one. This one's not my favorite, so I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it. Who knows? Okay. Oh, this is very pretty and very soft. Okay, this one I really like. This does have a tag. Let's see. Let's see what it says. It says Target. So it came from Target. Looks like it was in 2015. It is, let's see what it's made out of, if we can figure it out. It is 100% viscose. So nothing particularly exciting other than it's very pretty. All right, it is a sheer white with these really cute little, uh, like, fringe around. It's got, like, this little fringe around. And then it's just white and sheer, and it looks like it's um, kind of rectangular. So I would imagine that this, I mean, this could definitely be pretty in the winter as a scarf. Or, you know, another month as a scarf. But I also think this could be very pretty, um in the summer as a beach, maybe a beach cover up or something like that. I don't know. It's super soft. Once again, it's very soft, but the soft and the sheer, it just, it feels beachy to me. Um, so I might try to figure out a way to, you know, 
where's that as a, as a beach cover up or something like that all right next one this one is it looks a little bit nautical on first look oh look it's got a big snag in it okay so that's the issue with this one um but it it was pretty it's very nautical it is very thin i don't see anything on it um so yeah this one will just become oh look it's also falling apart at the edges so even though it's very it is very pretty i don't know what i can do with this but maybe i can do something with it we'll see i'm gonna get a bin and start just like a um like a fabric scrap bin and i'll throw that in there because you never know you just never know when you'll be like oh this would be really pretty with a little funky scarf trim on it who knows um this one is floral it just is this an infinity i have not gotten any infinity scarves yet so yeah this is a just a round infinity scarf um but it's this really pretty floral pattern really pretty colors um really pretty colors uh let's see i'm looking to see if i see a tag or anything like that i did find a seam but i don't see okay let's check the other side i don't see a tag so most of these are untagged i'm getting okay yeah, no tag, but a really pretty infinity scarf. So I will, I think I'll throw that one in the wash too. All right, another, who got two camo ones in one box. This, once again, this almost looks like a blanket. Look how big it is. This is, you know, doubled and it's this long. And then it does have a fringe. Um, this one is from H&M. It does have a tag. Let's see. From H&M, one size. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get to the second tag here. It's, oh, it looks like the brand is divided by H&M. So at least I have something to look up to see if there are any comps on it. All right polyester it is 73 percent acrylic 27 percent polyester so just an acrylic polyester blend but i mean it is very large like i said this could almost be a blanket i feel like some of these big ones i might just list you know for not too much and see what happens okay this is very colorful this you know what this reminds me of this almost looks more like a tablecloth. <laughs> this could be used as a tablecloth, I think. But it reminds me of like, have you seen like, um, like Spanish, um, maybe even Italian too, but like some of their pottery glassware, um, tableware, it, it kind of makes me think that kind of a design. Okay, this is Rus Rusomar. Never heard of this. Rusomar. I don't know. Let's see, 100% cotton. Once again, all of the, all of the um, label is in, um, not in English, maybe Spanish. I'm guessing Spanish maybe, I don't know. Um, but once again, this one's pretty big. It is all 100% cotton. I really think this would make, look how long. It just keeps on going, very long. Um, I think this could be, Look how pretty it is it's got this big sun in the middle and then all around it it has it reminds me also of like the tiles you see like in the mediterranean um with the different designs it's really pretty this one's really really pretty so i'm gonna probably end up washing that one too and see what happens okay um let's see i'm having to reach farther okay i'm almost at the bottom okay this is a sparkly one um, it is very sparkly. This is kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, like, um, rose gold, maybe a rose gold color. Um, and it does have, I don't know if you can see up close, it does have a little bit of a pattern on it, but it's really hard to see. Let me see. Is it more? No, it's just really hard to see, but there is a little bit 
of a design, kind of like a swirly design. Um, and it is just long with the fringe on both ends. So it's nice and sparkly. I kind of like, like a little sparkle. I like the sparkle on this one. Um, I don't see, once again, I don't see a tag. That's okay. I might keep that one. That one's kind of pretty. I like that one. Um, okay. Next is, oh, this is textured. Ooh, I like this one. Look, it's, it's, um, got the velvet, velvet on it. Ah, nice texture. So it's almost like a, a, a netting. It's almost a little bit like a netting with this velvet and the colors are beautiful. Kind of like this, I don't know, gray, green into black and then rose and pink. Very, very pretty. This one, was there a tag on there? Can't tell. I don't see a tag. I thought maybe the tag had been cut out, but I think it was just where um, the edge with the velvet. So the other side is just, you know, just more the netting, no velvet on both sides, only on the one side, but isn't that beautiful? This one, this one it definitely might keep because this is just, this is kind of my cup of tea. <laughs> so I might end up keeping a couple of these. Okay. Let's see, we're getting to the bottom, so it's getting harder to reach them. Okay, let's see. This one does have, okay, this one is also 100% silk made in India by the brand Saatchi. So if I have two in here that are silk, I have no idea what silk scarves go for. I'm going to have to definitely do some research, but maybe I'll get my money back for the box between the two of them given that it wasn't that expensive of a box. Let's see what shape this is in though. This is beautiful, really beautiful. It's very, okay, it's doubled up here. So you can see, this is how wide it is. Okay, this is the width. And um, it does have these really pretty tassels that kind of are tied at the bottom. And then um, the length, the length is, Look how long. It's almost got this like, um, it's kind of like, oh, I see. Okay, look, it's more blue on this side with the kind of palm tree print almost. And then on this side, you get a little more gold. It goes in like waves kind of of the gold and the black, more black. And this one is more blue. And then we've got more of the kind of like a bronze color. So it changes colors throughout and it is 100% silk. So this one is a really good one. I'm going to actually put this one up when we're done. But okay, so there's two that I'm definitely going to sell. A couple I will probably keep. A couple that I think I can repurpose. And then a couple that I need to figure out a little bit more about to see if I could use them maybe as some type of a bathing suit cover up or something. Which would be interesting. Okay, we are to the last one. And I did see this one, so I saved it for last because I thought it was really cute. This is Target. This is Jason Wu for Target. It says uh, on here, Jason Wu for Target. So I don't know if there is any resale value for this, but I, you know, people are crazy for cats, so there might be. Um, but look, it's a collab with Jason Wu. And look at the kitty cats with the red bows in all different poses so cute so cute so so cute um i don't see anything which that tells me what it's made of but at least it does tell me where it's from um so i think this one i might give a shot because you know if you love cats you love cats and you want your cats on everything <laughs> all right let's see we got the tissue paper and I do not have the invoice so I didn't get the invoice the invoice must have fallen out somewhere along the way as well um hopefully none of the scarves did but anyway I can tell you for sure that I'm I'm like 99.99% sure it was $16 plus $10 there's always $10 shipping and then tax so I would say this was probably $30 at the most. So I have a good shot at making my money back here. So let's count and see. 
uh, how much, how many of them we got, because I don't remember. So we have the sparkly one. I'm going to put them back in the box. Take out the tissue. Um, so we have one. This really pretty colorful one. That's two. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice. This is new with tags. Oh, it's a souvenir. Rusomar souvenir. Let's see what it says. Made in India, 100% cotton. All right, so new with tags. I think that this one will be great to listen to. I'm pretty sure between the four of these, between the two silks, the cat, and this one that's new with tags, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get back $40 along with some of these other ones. Okay, so let's start counting again because I want to put the ones I think I'm going to list most assuredly on the top. So we have that sparkly one, so that's one. We have this checkered metallic one that's two the uh, other <laughs> the green checkered one is three ah, the box won't stay open because of course it's not supposed to be open on that side I think they just put too many big ones in here that's three this one I'm gonna put this one out here too we'll count this one later um let's see this really pretty one is four. This one that I swear is a blanket is five. Um, we have one of the tasseled long skinnier ones. Oh no, I've lost counts. One. I'm terrible at this because I lose count. You know what? We're just going to throw them on the floor instead of trying to put them in the box because that's where I'm getting messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're at six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 is an odd number. I wonder if somewhere along the way there was a 25th <coughs> that got lost because I feel like there would have been 25 and not 24. I don't think it was by weight, but maybe it was. Maybe it was by weight. I don't know. Anyway, we ended up with 24. $40, that's less than, uh, what, $2 a piece. So, you know, I forgot, too, that that, that one, um, Kayla one was H&M. So I can probably, you know, make a little bit on that one, too, so... And I, I bet if I tried to sell this one, it would sell, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It's so pretty, but I don't wear scarves that much. So maybe I will throw that out there and see what happens, see if it sells. But anyway, I'm feeling fairly optimistic about getting my money back on this one, which is always good. It's always good to be able to get your money back. Um, I mean, beyond that, I mean, I get these because they're fun. I think it's so much fun to open something up when you have no idea what's... I mean, I knew scarves were inside, but I had no idea what they were going to look like, what they were made out of, where they were from. No idea. So, I have fun. I think that's fun. I think it's fun to watch, too, because I do enjoy watching these on other um, channels. So, I think it's fun to watch myself. I watch a lot of these thread up boxes. So, I mean, it's worth it for that just in and of itself. But... You know, I, I think so far, I haven't gotten, I've only gotten a couple of boxes. I haven't gotten a lot, but so far I'd say I've gotten, um, everything has, I felt like it is possible I will at least 
come close to making my money back, if not making my money back. Um, so given that I'm also making a video out of them, I think they're definitely worthwhile. I'll probably keep getting them. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I keep checking and checking to see if one of the designer ones, if the designer ones ever pop up, I will buy a couple of them because I have yet to be able to find one. Um, so if I ever see those pop up, I'm definitely going to buy more than one if I'm allowed to. Um, but other than that, I will keep buying the ones that are available. Some of them seem to be available all the time, and then other ones seem to come and go. Um, once I get more into the upcycling, there is one that is like um, fabric. So I might get that one when I get more set up for that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as I said before, if you leave me a like, it's very helpful. And let me know what you think. Um, do you think it was worth I'm guessing it was around forty dollars. I know it was. I think it was. I'm very sure it was sixteen dollars, and I know it's ten dollars shipping. So when you figure tax in there, it's probably right around, right around that. So maybe a little bit less. Now, what am I saying? Thirty. It should be right around thirty dollars. So that's even better. I cannot do math. Sixteen plus nine ninety nine, ten dollars is not thirty. <laughs> closer to $30, which means if I got 24, I'm only paying a little bit over. I'm paying a dollar something for each of them. So it was definitely worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. It was so dry. Anyway, like I said, I'm definitely going to look into some of them more and I, I'm pretty confident I'll make my money back, especially since I did the math right this time. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in and my sweater that I made like 30 years ago that's still holding on. <laughs> um, anyway, remember that it is never too late. It's never too late to, you know, take a chance on something. See what's, I mean, this is an actual mystery box, but you know, there are metaphorical mystery boxes out there for us too, you know, things that we think look interesting. We'd kind of like to know what's inside. What's going to, what would happen? What is it? You know, I don't know, maybe a class or a group, a club, something that you think I've always liked to, you know, play bridge. I don't know how to play bridge, but I'm just, it's just what popped in my head. I mean, maybe I should join that bridge club. You know, you just, I've always loved to dance. There's, you know, or, uh, Community college is offering a dance class that I could take. You never know, you know. Maybe there are some of those metaphorical, metaphorical mi mystery. Ugh. Apparently, that was too much for me. Metaphorical mystery boxes out there. Um, I think they're out there waiting for us all. If we're just one, our eyes are open enough, um, and our hearts are open enough to see the possibilities. Of different things that are out there for us and two if we're brave enough to take a chance and just take a chance on failing maybe you don't like it maybe you're bad at it when you actually try it but you don't know until you try so you know I think I've kind of opened a lot of those metaphorical mystery boxes this year as well as some you know actual ones and I've enjoyed all of it so much and I've just gained so much so you know it's never too late. It's never too late to give things a try. So I encourage you to find those mystery boxes hidden out there for you and uh, dive in, see what you find. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like, and um, any ideas you have, thoughts you have on videos. If any of these scarves look familiar and you think you know what they're for or where they came from or what they're made out of, leave that as well. I could use all the help I can get, believe me. All right. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever it is when I actually get around to editing and posting this. <laughs> I have like a queue of all the things I'm trying to get done and this time of year when I'm recording this, it's just a little bit before Christmas, which I do celebrate. So, um, it's just busy, busy. So I'm doing the best I can. I will be back with more of a regular schedule in the new year. So I will, I should have this out before then, but, um, that's the plan. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.